This is a demonstration on our ammonia lab that we are going to do today. So we have our pH meter set up. We are going to use a probe for ammonias. The first thing that we do is we have to prepare the probe. So the probe does not have its sleeve on it right now and it is soaking in ammonia storage solution for at least two hours and then I'm going to put on a membrane. We are using the directions that came with the probe. So this is the outer sleeve of the probe. It's just plastic with a little cap here. And right here is where a membrane is going to be. So the membranes come in a little box like this. Very tiny. And you use gloves to put the membrane on and tweezers. So this is a fun part, grabbing the little membrane has a little bit of a wax paper separating them here. So I'm going to peel the membrane off. Alright, you see I got the little membrane off and I am going to put it on here. Spread it over the center. Start putting the little cap back on. And then you do not want any of this showing, so it's going to be tucked under the cap. So I usually just spread it sideways a little bit. And there you go. And then next thing is you take the electrode fill solution. There's a little line right there. That's how far you fill it and that's it. You want to insert the in center and I kind of like wiggle it a little bit when I put it in here. You don't want bubbles in the bottom and sometimes I kind of go side by side and I seem to get less bubbles that way. Take the top down And there we go. Next thing is I hook it to the machine and put it in the storage solution and we should be ready in about 15 minutes. Next we're going to do the slope test. So first I'm going to pour off a little bit of my 1000 standard into a labeled beaker. Pour off a little bit of my ISA buffer to a labeled beaker. So first I'm going to add my 100 mLs of DI water. Next it says to add the 2 mLs of the ISA. Take the probe, which is in the storage solution, dip it in DI water, flat dry, okay. Next we are going to add 1 mil to the 1000 ppm standard. Wait for the millivolts to stabilize. It is now ready. The millivolts 42.6. I'll write that down. So next I'm going to add 10 mils of the 1000 ppm standard. And then I'm going to wait 
put in millivolts to stabilize. All right, it is ready. I'm getting a minus 15.4 millivolts. I'll write that down. All right, I see the difference between the two is 58 millivolts. And what we want is between 54 and 60, so we are good to go. All right, I am going to now calibrate for ammonia. And I'm going to do the higher level of ammonia. I'm going to use a 1 ppm, 10 ppm, and a 100 ppm to calibrate. So I have my beakers ready and my standards ready. My 1, my 10, and my 100. I have my ISA poured off into a small beaker. So the first thing we are going to do is put our standards in the beaker. And we do need a way to find out if our calibration worked properly. So I made up a dilution of the 100 ppm to test. So it should read about 20. So I'm going to get that out and pour it into its beaker. Now the first thing we have to do is test the pH on all of these. I have some lovely pH paper here. So this one looks like pH of about 4. And I'll test the other ones. So it looks like all of them are about a pH of 4. Directions in our handy dandy little book say put in the probe, add the ISA, then calibrate. So I have my 1 ppm here ready to go, which is our first one. I am going to take my probe, dip it in some DI water. Dry with some Kim wipes. Then I'm going to put my probe in here. I'm going to have it at a little bit of an angle. From what I read, bubbles can be trapped underneath on the membrane, and so recommendation is have it at a 20 degree angle. And then I am going to add one mil on my ISA. Then I'm coming over here, hit calibrate, start. And wait for it to stabilize. So while it is stabilizing, we also should test the pH. Hmm, this one looks like a pH of about 14. All right, it is ready. Hit accept. There's our first point. Take out our probe. At our 10 ppm, add our probe, add our buffer, hit next for our next calibration, or our next calibrator, start, wait for it to stabilize. While you wait, let's check the pH. It's about 10 again. 
All right, it is ready. Hit accept. Get pro about. Clean it up. Wait for some Kim wipes. All right. Let's get our 100 up here. Add our pro. Add our ISA. Next, start. Wait for it to stabilize. Let's check the pH. All right, it is ready. I'm going to hit accept. So our calibration is done. Let's take a look at the graph to see what it looks like. That's beautiful, perfect straight line, just what we want. Let us go out of here, back. Let's escape. All right, now we are just going to test our test sample, this 20 ppm control sample here. Let's remove this. Add our ISA one mil. All right, now hopefully it'll read twenty. Wow, am I good or what? Twenty. We are ready to do a real test wastewater sample.